friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I went to two stores this week, lots of new food finds that I'm really excited to share with you. So if you can't wait for a grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a haul every Saturday and five videos every single week and make sure your bell's turned on. That way you're notified whenever something new pops up here on my channel. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I highly recommend this. And for accountability, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and last but certainly not least, come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's a supportive community, and we'd love to have you. So I'm excited. Let's jump into the haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week I went to Sprouts, which is actually the majority of my groceries, and then I also hopped over to Walmart to pick up a few more things. I have lots of new food finds. I'm really excited to share them with you, so let's jump in. I did grab some radishes there because I wasn't sure if Sprouts sold radishes. And once I got there, I realized they only sold the organic ones and they're like five times the price of this. So I'm actually relieved that I decided to pick these up at Walmart. These are for Troy's pasta salad. He requested that I make his salad this week and part of that salad is radishes. By the way, that recipe is on my website under Troy's pasta salad. It is not WW friendly, it is not calorie friendly. You can modify it if you would like to make it fit your way of eating but it's his favorite salad, so I'm making that for him this week. And I also needed just some plain elbow macaroni for him. That is what he prefers in the salad. I needed peanuts for a recipe, and I decided just to pick up a big jar because you guys know I love nuts as a snack, and peanuts for some reason just sounded really good. So I grabbed the big jar of the dry roasted peanuts. A box of stuffing, this is for a dinner recipe this next week. I'm making kind of a comfort food recipe. I'm a gallon of 1% milk for Troy. He goes through about a gallon of milk every single week. I did pick up three packs of Idahoan potatoes because I grabbed my favorite chicken from Sprouts and that's one of our quick, easy meals is mashed potatoes, chicken, and a veg. So I grabbed the baby reds, the butter and herb, and then just the regular golden butter. Troy likes these as a quick, easy snack and meal as well. Really easy to make and I just store them in our pantry, so super easy. I did grab some big cubed ham for his pasta salad recipe. If you remember in last week's haul, I bought one of these on clearance at Walmart. Well, I didn't eat it because Troy got to it before I did and he actually really liked it and asked me to pick up some more because he can take these with him when he goes golfing. So I did grab three more. They are the snack fresh fruit and cheese bite. So there's a red apple, green apple, grapes, and cheese. So really, really good snack. Less than 200 calories, about seven grams of protein. I picked up some already cubed Colby and Monterey Jack cheese for his pasta salad. I didn't, I never knew that they made it already pre-cubed and I hate cutting the cheese into cubes. So this is all about convenience for that recipe. Two yogurts, I still have quite a few in my fridge, but I really like the Oikos protein yogurt. So I have a mixed berry and then I decided to get a strawberry as well. This is a new food find for me. This is another really quick, easy meal for me is just some chicken sausage. Whether I have that for breakfast with eggs or I make it with veggies and potatoes for dinner. And I've never tried the Gilbert Burt's Caprese sausages. They actually had the Aloha, one other one in a pink wrapper. I'm not sure what it was actually now that I am not in this store, but I grabbed the one with basil, mozzarella, and sun-dried tomatoes. This one has 13 grams of protein, 130 calories, and this one has the lowest amount of carbs of all the sausages that they had. So I went ahead and picked that up. I'm really excited to try it. I've heard really good things. I grabbed some more of my favorite milk, the Fairlife. They were out of the low fat, so I just picked up the 2%. I really like Fairlife milk for my blended up protein shakes because it has 12 grams of protein per cup and if we go over to regular milk it's nine grams so it is substantially more protein per serving and less calories generally than regular milk. So I always pick up the Fairlife. Some non-fat Greek yogurt for a recipe and I've been trying to incorporate this a little bit more into my life for parfaits and things because it is so packed with protein. Here's another new food find. Now I did pick up, I think it was the blueberry muffin super coffee. It was so good. I saw this one at Walmart and I had to grab it. This is the caramel 
waffle, like a stroop waffle. I'm excited for that. It's a great way to get in some protein and it's a quick, easy coffee to have on hand. It is 80 calories and there's 10 grams of protein. Some prune juice for Troy because that is a regular purchase in this family. And lastly, I grabbed a big box of no sugar added fruit cups because we've been loving these on our cottage cheese. It's one of our favorite snacks, also a great way to get in protein and healthy carbs. So this has diced peaches, diced pears, and mandarin oranges, all no sugar added. So this is new to me and actually new to Sprouts as well. These are so expensive, but they were on sale for $3.99. They had strawberry, blueberry, and apple cinnamon. I had to pick them up. This is from the brand Go Oats. This is the strawberry oatmeal in a ball. So it says ready in minutes, just heat and eat. You can have three of them for 180 calories. So for me, I'll probably just have one as a snack. And there is four grams of protein, so not super high in protein. However, it is really high in whole grains grains, which is another really important addition to our diet. It's a great breakfast item, snack item. I saw people grabbing these by the bag full, so I'm assuming that they're really good, so I can't wait to try them. I also needed some coleslaw for a dinner recipe, some green onions, one bunch for Troy's pasta salad, and then one bunch for my meal prep. Some romaine lettuce for a recipe. They had the really high quality, really expensive eggs, BOGO. Buy one, get one. This is the Farmer's Hen House Pasture Raised organic, really like the best of the best when it comes to eggs. They're $7.99 a dozen, but they were buy one, get one free, which makes them about $4 a dozen, which is a really, really good deal. So of course I picked up two dozen. Two packages of raspberries because I love raspberries and we are out of all the fruit in our house with the exception of watermelon. So it was restock the berry time. A couple of red bell peppers. One of these is for meal prep. One of these is for a dinner recipe. Of course, my good culture cottage cheese. Now the one I picked up last week, the sham Rock Farms from Walmart. It's pretty good. Not as good as the good culture. So this to me is worth the money. I really like it. It is my favorite, favorite cottage cheese. And I did go ahead and pick up the low fat. Also a staple are these organic Persian cucumbers. I love how crispy and crunchy they are. I literally crave these. So of course I picked up another bag. I needed a pineapple for a dinner recipe next week. So I was going to buy the pre-cut ones and I thought I'll just buy the regular one. These were on sale at Sprouts for $2.50. Another new food find from the brand Choco Love. This is the zero sugar added salted peanut butter in milk chocolate. These were on sale for $3.50 and they actually have a really good macros and decent ingredients. It's 140 calories per serving or the whole bar is 430 calories. There's five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and only 15 carbs per serving. Another new food find, I actually saw these when I made my way to the register, and I'm really happy to find them in little packets so I could try them out. This is Elite Protein at its purest from the brand Ascent. This is the Native Fuel Whey Clean Post-Workout Recovery Protein in chocolate for 25 grams of protein. It says fast digesting and no artificial ingredients. It's 120 calories for the packet and again, 25 grams of protein and clean, 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 clean. So I don't know if they sell this by the tub, but I'm excited to try out the little packet. If I like it, I will definitely be on the hunt to buy the entire tub. Some frozen edamame for a recipe and my fitness coach recommended that I really try to work edamame into my diet for healthy fat and protein. And I really love edamame. Mommy, I just never think about it. So I grabbed some frozen. A big thing of blueberries. I've been loving blueberries on cottage cheese. I just, I love berries in general. And these were $2.98. Incredible deal. Also, something I always buy is the all white meat pulled shredded chicken. Uh, this is what I was talking about with the potatoes. It makes a really quick dinner, super high protein snack. I've been known just to have a little handful of the chicken as a snack. So it's just convenient that it's pre made, pre pulled, shredded, ready to go. A big bag of lemons. This is for my meal prep and a course for my water. And then last but not least, another thing I buy all the time. These were actually on sale. Normally they're about $5 a bag, which is pretty pricey. And they're on sale right now for $3.50. So I picked up a bag of the I Want Organics protein puffs in the caramelized onion, all time favorite crunchy snack, like literally all time favorite. So I picked up a bag of those. So that is everything for my haul for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into what I'm doing for dinners this week and the really yummy recipes you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we are going out to dinner. Troy has been baking for pot roast in the crock pot, so I'm going to do a pot roast on Sunday. Monday, I'm making teriyaki chicken and 
and rice bowls. Stay tuned. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm doing a chicken, chicken and stuffing casserole. I just wanted something kind of comfort food. Thursday, we'll do an egg roll in a bowl. And then Friday, we'll eat up all the leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. You're not going to want to miss it. For breakfast, I'm making apple protein muffins. I am so stoked for this recipe. Lunch is going to be peanut chicken, high protein, full of flavor. And then for a snack slash dessert, look at this. I mean, blueberry lemon pie bars. Yes, please. So stay tuned for all three recipes for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I have some really exciting new foods that I am really excited to try out. Speaking of that protein powder, I'll go ahead and save that and try it in next week's What I Eat in a Day so you guys can get my first impression and we'll find out if this nice clean ingredient new protein powder is any good. If you enjoyed today's grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here and don't forget to check out the description box. It's the little drop down arrow right below the video. That's where you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. By the way, it is part one of my weight loss slash mean comments Q&A. You're not going to want to miss it. Bye.